Welcome. Uh, welcome everyone to this virtual community meeting uh, regarding the Lackland sidewalk improvements project from Camp Bowie Boulevard to Calmont Avenue. Uh, my name is Jose Orozco and I am the project manager with the city of Fort Worth transportation and public works department. On the call, we are as well as uh, representatives of Fort Worth uh, engineering uh, consultant, or I am so sorry, on call with us, with along with the Fort Worth TPW staff, uh, is the engineering consultant, uh, ANA, uh, is our consultant. Uh, also, um, others from TPW. I'm not sure if we have uh, the council district uh, councilman. Michael Crane on the call. Um, if you are on the call, if you'd like to say a few words. He did have a prior arrangement, wasn't sure if he was going to make it, so I'll go ahead and move on. Uh, his assistant, uh, Jack, uh, was trying to also join the call. Did uh, Are you on the call, Jack? Okay, moving on. Um, well, this presentation is meant to inform you about the upcoming scope of the project and uh, what's happening in your area and give you a chance to see how you, you're going to be impacted in the, uh, the coming days. Uh, a little bit of the agenda we'd like to discuss today, uh, give you the project overview, the summary of improvements, and uh, what you, what and when you uh, to expect over the project. And we'll have all the questions at the very end. The project limits uh, shown here are Lackland Road from Camp Bowie Boulevard to Calmont Avenue, where and also Lackland or Lock Avenue from Lackland Road to Sappington Place. This can be seen in this small section on the north end. Summary of improvements. Uh, currently, the existing conditions that we have out there is as uh, many of you may know, the the area is missing um, the area is missing several gaps in sidewalks. Um, some of these sidewalks are broken or uneven. Um, there's no sidewalk ramps. Um, as you can see, there's also uh, the sidewalk just ends abruptly we're going to be filling in these gaps and continuing the sidewalk and uh, filling in all these gaps the what we plan to do is to build uh, in these proposed improvements 21 new concrete driveways and replace any damaged and non ada compliant driveways with at least 11 foot minimum width uh, or match the existing width that's there up to the right of way. Uh, it's approximately 6,000, just over 6,000 linear feet of five foot sidewalk. And some areas may be a little tight uh, and just isolated. The minimum you will receive is a four foot uh, width of sidewalk in those areas. Also with these improvements, we'll be including 16 new ADA compliant ramps. When uh, the construction is complete, what you can expect are the following is a new concrete sidewalk uh, with new ADA ramps as shown in the pictures. Some more examples uh, is the sidewalk here with a pedestrian pad for uh, bus routes. This route does have uh, active bus routes, so we'll be building some ramps on this project. 
I mean, I'm sorry, bus pads as well as uh, ramps. Some other examples of the bus pads are shown in the left view and some other examples of the sidewalk that we have uh, are sidewalks with a curb wall on the back side of it due to uh, terrain conditions. Um, the schedule that we anticipate for this project, um, we, the contractor is anticipating to start construction June 13th, as starting on the west side of Lackland and progressing eventually to the east side of Lackland uh, August 1st. Once he's completed there, he'll move on to Lock Avenue in, by November. And he should be wrapped up with all construction for this project um, just before Christmas uh, in mid-December. Any questions? I know I went pretty fast. Um, Are you able to hear me? Yes. Um, well, my house is on Lockland. Is, should I be worried about kind of blocking the driveway or will I be able to leave when they're working on our section? Um, no, before the contractor does any work, they will inform, they have a minimum of seven days to, to, uh, to inform you of when, when they plan to be in front of your house. Oh, okay, okay. That's all. Okay. Mary, is there any additional information you want to give? Oh, I mean, um, the, it, and we are not replacing all the driveways. So some driveways we are leaving, they are in compliance with ADA. They have the 2% section of sidewalk. So, um, not sure if we are replacing your driveway or not. Um, some driveways we are, some driveways we are not replacing. So if we are okay, not replacing okay. your driveway, that will be easier easier for you. You won't have impact. We're connecting to your driveway from both sides. Got it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Jose, could you go over like the width of the driveways and how, how far back we'll be going? Uh, to connect, since obviously we won't be doing the entire driveways. Can we go over some of those details? Uh, yes, the uh, driveways, basically, if the driveway is wider than our standard minimum of 11 feet, uh, we will widen the driveway to match the existing width. So if, say, for example, you have a 15 foot wide driveway, we will match your driveway up to the 15 foot width. Um, but as far as replacing it all the way to your house, uh, we're only sticking to what's within the public right of way. Um, and handling what's in the public right of way beyond the public right of way um, is private property and that that's not what we handle. Um, anything else that you think I should touch on or you need clarification on? Okay, can you put your uh, uh, contact information for you and for the inspector so people can get this information? Uh, yes, I don't think the call-in uh, user, I don't think the man that she was talking, she can see it, so you may need to say your phone number and your email. Gotcha. Uh, again, my name is Jose Orozco. I am the project manager for uh, Fort Worth. I am a city of Fort Worth employee. My phone number uh, in the slide, if you can't see it, is 817-392-8785. And my email address is uh, my first name dot my last name, which is J-O-S-E dot o 
R O Z as in zebra, C as in Charlie, O at Fort Worth, Texas, all spelled out, dot gov. My inspector on this project is Matthew Wilson. His contact information is 682-215-9539. And his email is matthew.wilson at fortworthtexas.gov. That's M-A-T-T-H-E-W dot W-I-L-S-O-N at fortworthtexas.gov. Matthew will be the boots on the ground do, uh, for the day to day. And I, I will be the support for him managing the project from the office, uh, going out as needed for different items that uh, need to be addressed or taken care of on the project. Is there any other questions that uh, are in the uh, chat? Oh, there is no, no other questions. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mary. Um, well, um, Right. Well, I appreciate everyone uh, attending today. Um, feel free to reach out uh, by phone or email, and I'll answer your question accordingly. Um, have a Thank good you. evening, and I look forward to uh, hearing from you.